Hey, what's up guys? Just coming out of the gym session. Uh, second day taking Anavar, which if you guys don't know is an oral anabolic steroid. It's been around since the 60s and one of the most desirable and effective with the least side effects. And how effective it's supposed to be up to three times as uh, as much as testosterone with the less uh, an androgenic uh, effects, like 30% of the androgenic effects. I'm just gonna open a window, it's fucking hot in here. So yeah, this is my second day taking it and speaking of, about being hot, I think that's one of the side effects I've noticed so far, both days, is first of all, I took it a half capsule. The capsules are approximately 40 milligrams, just under 37 milligrams. And I busted it, the capsule in half and it's powder split the powder up in half like you would cocaine or something like some just normal drug and then put it sublingually under the tongue and i heard instead of swallowing it swallowing it it goes into the capillaries into your bloodstream easier and it's supposed to bypass the first round of your liver as well which might be good saving the liver but as also i heard from some of like the anabolic doctors online that uh it it works better easier like uh, more faster and effectively so my second day taking it I noticed yesterday I took it on an empty stomach which is probably not advisable and I, I felt a little bit weird then I ate right away a uh, Wendy's chicken burger and I felt fine afterwards and I hit the gym right after that so I'm taking it about an hour before I hit the gym and uh, with pre-workout what I notice is while I'm in the gym today I don't know if it's, it's supposed to take a few days to to have noticeable effects but I think I've noticed it today even is uh like normally I don't sweat much in the gym especially when I'm only doing like a five by five on like bench press or something like that today I was doing five by five on incline press and when I got up like my shirt was sweaty and the bench was a lot sweatier than normal so oh shit I cleaned it off and uh so I think I'm, I was getting a lot more heat thermogenic effect um and today I'm, I might have noticed a bit more of like intensity levels now I did take pre-workout and some days when you're just in the zone and whatnot, you do have those days in the gym with on drugs or without pre-workout or not, like you're just that much more energy. So, uh, and I did a leg day yesterday, so I probably have a bit more testosterone. So there's multiple factors here. I'm not saying it's, it's purely this, but I'm just keeping note of it because as I go in the next week, especially, I feel based on my research, I will be starting to notice more effects. And what I'm doing is I took like a baseline of my rep range for certain weights. So for example, squats, I threw on like a few plates on this, like a 45 and a 25. And then I rep that out and saw what generally what my rep range was there. And then um, as I continue in the next two weeks, if I, if, if I can rep that out two or three times as much, then we know that there's, there's probably a sharp acceleration in my strength uh, and ability. And then obviously as I add weight uh, on top of that, and I'll see the rep ranges I get on that and the increase in um, in like what my max would be for things. I know what my max is for deadlift and squats and bench press. Bench press right now, it's approximately 250. So uh, I'll test that in about a month. Right now I'm doing five by five for bench, for pretty much everything, all compound movements at least. And then um, the accessory movements, I'm, I go to about 12 and then even do drop sets on top of that sometimes. So we'll see, uh, I'll, rep I'll report that. And that's that's kind of like the whole purpose of this is first of all to share it with you guys, but as well kind of make mental note myself on what, what what's happened through the uh, through this whole time. It's kind of like a deer diary thing. But uh, anyway, Anavar, uh, so far the f no, no weird side effects or anything. First day is taking it. Like I said, empty stomach probably is not advisable. I won't do that again. I'll take it with lunch and then, or I'll eat like a pre-workout meal, kind of like an hour before, maybe a few eggs. That's what I did today, and uh, then, and then take take it just afterwards, and then an hour after that, hit the gym because I feel like it does have a potential pre-workout kind of effect, and getting the pump and getting that intensity in there. That's what I noticed. Anyway, second day taking it. Really curious to see how this progresses. Um, and I'll make a video. I'll show you what I got maybe tonight or tomorrow in Canada. You can buy this legally, so it's kind of interesting. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.